kind of good in it. <laughs> How much is it? Who cares? I want it. What is the best advice you've ever received? To live, laugh, and love like no one's watching. Tell me how angry you are at me. I deserve it. Get your hands off of me! Don't you ever touch me! Don't nobody touch me, ever! What's the best advice you've ever received? Live, laugh, and love like no one's watching. Monica Calhoun a name synonymous with grace and talent, has long captivated audiences with her heartfelt performances. She's the actress who turned heads on the red carpet and stole our hearts in everything from romantic comedies to powerful dramas. But behind the Hollywood glamour, Monica's life has been shaped by both triumph and tragedy, making her journey all the more compelling. For years, rumors have swirled about Monica's personal life was it a diva meltdown that kept her out of the spotlight, or was it something more? Some have whispered about a secret rehab stint, but today we're diving into the real story behind this beloved actress, America's sweetheart, Monica Calhoun. Born on July 29, 1971 in Philadelphia, Monica started chasing her dreams early. While most kids were playing dress-up at home, Monica was serious about her craft, honing her acting skills in grade school. She wasn't just pretending in front of family members. She was preparing for the world stage with her eyes set on Hollywood, and she made it. By the time she was in sixth grade, Monica landed her first TV role in Children of the Night, 1985. It was the beginning of a steady rise in the industry, with roles pouring in and Hollywood taking notice. She could portray anything, from the tough girl, welcome to the plantation system, to the sweet romantic, will you marry me? Monica's versatility made her one of the most exciting young actresses of her generation. Her breakout performances came in the late 90s, when she starred in films like The Best Man, 1999, The Players Club, 1998, and Baghdad Cafe, 1990. But it wasn't just her acting that captured the public's attention. It was her relatable charm, her effortless ability to connect with audiences, and her unforgettable smile. Monica's range didn't stop with film. She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hollywood legends like Whoopi Goldberg, appearing alongside her in Sister Act Two. When asked about working with Whoopi, Monica reflected on the deep connection they shared. We went to her house and my mom came along. I noticed that Whoopi had a bookshelf full of books, just like my mom. That shared love for reading made me connect with her even more. In the 2000s, Monica Calhoun continued to solidify her legacy as one of Hollywood's most talented and versatile actresses. From family dramas like The Jacksons, An American Dream, to more intense roles in films like Love and Basketball, 2000, Monica had a way of making every role her own, bringing emotional depth and sincerity to the screen. But as her career took off, the rumor mill churned about Monica's personal life. For years, there were whispers of a romance with actor Miguel A. Nunez Jr., but neither ever confirmed the speculation. Even though their private lives were kept under wraps, it didn't stop fans from wondering if Miguel might be the father of Monica's son. Still... She's remained tight-lipped on that matter, leaving the public in the dark. One thing Monica has not hidden, however, is her deep love and devotion to her son. While she keeps much of her private life away from the cameras, she's been open about her son's challenges. He is visually impaired and, as Monica hinted in her social media posts, may also be on the autism spectrum. She regularly uses the hashtag AUAUTISM will not kill our vibe to express her resilience and love for her child. In a touching video, Monica shared a heartwarming moment of her teaching her son how to float in the pool. It's a glimpse into her life as a mom, a role she takes seriously and with immense pride. Monica balances the glitz and glamour of Hollywood with the responsibilities of raising a child with special needs, and she does it all with grace. She's more than just an actress. She's a mama bear, determined to raise her son to be strong, no matter the obstacles. 
Someone had an issue with me letting my son grow an afro, Monica shared in an interview. But I think it looks great. It's still growing, and we'll see how it turns out. Her candidness and realness in these moments make her all the more relatable. It turns out that Monica's dedication to her son may be deeply personal. Her brother, Eric, was born blind, so she has first-hand experience of what it means to care for someone with a disability. This might explain why she's so fiercely protective of her son and his journey. Despite pulling back from the Hollywood limelight to focus on motherhood, Monica's career didn't falter. She's still making waves, particularly with her iconic role in the Best Man franchise. Whether it's playing the deeply emotional Jordan in The Best Man or revisiting the character in The Best Man Holiday 2013, her performances remain etched in our memories. But while her Hollywood star still shines bright, her priorities have clearly shifted. These days, Monica is more likely to be found in yoga pants than designer gowns, balancing grocery bags instead of scripts. Yet, even as her public appearances have become less frequent, her impact off-screen has grown. Monica Calhoun has dedicated much of her time to philanthropy, supporting causes that matter to her, including raising awareness for sickle cell anemia and cancer. She's using her fame not just for personal gain, but to make a difference in the world. And when she's not working on these causes, she's traveling, soaking up new cultures, and broadening her horizons. My ideal vacation spot is someplace where the waters are crystal clear, she says, showing her love for adventure and relaxation. Despite slowing down on movie roles, when Monica steps onto the screen, she still delivers. In 2016, she starred in a romantic drama, portraying a strong, career-focused woman who finds love in the most unexpected places. Her ability to play vulnerable and strong characters alike proves her versatility once again. Her most recent work, Deadly Entanglement 2023, saw her playing a fierce ex-wife, determined to get back what she believes is hers. It's a role that showcased her dramatic flair, emotional depth, and undeniable talent. Whether it's drama, comedy, or romance, Monica Calhoun brings her A-game to every project. What makes Monica even more remarkable is her commitment to the craft rather than the cash. She's not chasing blockbuster fame or superhero roles. Instead, she chooses projects that resonate with her on a deeper level, ones that allow her to dig into complex characters and explore meaningful stories. My favorite thing about acting, she says, is the possibility of healing a broken heart or giving someone the courage to heal. It's this passion for the art of storytelling that sets her apart from the crowd. At 52, Monica Calhoun has defied the odds. In a world obsessed with youth and beauty, she remains ageless, with a net worth estimated at $5 million. But it's not about the money for Monica. Never has been. For her, it's about staying true to herself, to her craft, and to her family. In a Hollywood era filled with manufactured feuds and thirst for attention, Monica Calhoun is a refreshing reminder that authenticity still exists. She's a rare gem in an industry that often prioritizes fame over substance. With every role she takes, she proves that her talent, integrity, and dedication to her craft are unmatched. When asked about the future, Monica's outlook is bright. I'm excited about what's ahead, she says. There's so much more to come. Monica Calhoun is the type of role model we can all get behind, an actress with undeniable talent, a mother who balances her family life with grace, and a philanthropist who gives back to the causes she believes in. It's time she gets the recognition she deserves for all that she's accomplished, both on and off the screen.